Hello and welcome back to your Daily Dose of the Dominions, turn 41. Uh, I'm your host, Kirby1, and we'll get right into it. Uh, the war with Yomi is in full swing. And I'm a little bit on the back foot again, but this is a MS from Aramark, slightly unrelated to that. He wants to trade fire gems for nature gems. Fine by me. Message from TNG. He's saying that he is actually fighting Yomi occasionally. So that's great. Um, Hinnom claimed the Silver Throne. I'm not sure where that is off the top of my head or if I ever knew. I don't think I ever knew where that one was. Um, I do a bunch of summons, Gandharvas and crappy units, and a Manticore and some more crappy units. But I need more than just one Manticore to be impressive. Spamming Manticores would be fun if I can do that. And I teleport. I think I didn't show this, um, but I actually was uh, going to teleport over to reinforce the Grey Barrier. That's where I am. Yeah, we'll see that in a second. Um, there's a battle here. Um, hmm. Oh, right, he takes my uh, Amazon province. That's sad. Not like I've been able to take advantage of having Amazons, which is even more sad. Um, I took control of a province that he put no PD in. Um, and this is him attacking and raiding another place of mine. We'll show where that is in a second. Um, Scout sees that. Um, seized, not sees. And then this is me raiding him. No losses, that's good. And then this is the fortress that I took from him and he takes back. I only had one yogi in there, so not particularly impressive defense of mine. Unfortunately, um, it doesn't say when it captures a fortress, but I lost a temple in that fortress. So, um, I'm doing no damage to his fort, but like I said before, I don't think he has a um, commander in there to do anything about it. So, he's kind of stuck with that. Uh, I get an event here, skipped right over that, Nature Gems, that's great. Maybe I don't need to trade with Aramore after all. <laughs> Maybe I don't need to trade after all because he'll give them to me. Just kidding. I'll trade with him. Um, and then, I'm still under siege here, but they can't harm my walls because he actually moved off here. So this is Faircliff. Um, Faircliff, as you don't see here, but um, as I have known for a while, is actually a pretty gold-heavy income province. So this is a pretty valuable province to have. Um, so he takes it, but he can't take advantage of it because I've completely cut off this area from his uh, only unseached fort in Yomi. So I am making some headway, even though it's really slow and painful. And uh, I'm basically just kind of inching along, trying to snipe his Dione and Battles of Opportunity. This is where I'm planning on trapping him again, if I can. If he goes back here, that's fine. He's only got a single colony there, uh, so that's not a big deal. He can keep sieging that if, if he wants to, and eventually I'll get him. Um, if he wants to go here, then I'll chase him from here, where I've consolidated an army. I've taken this, finally, and this is where his mm, real army that I have to deal with is. I think this is his last real army, aside from what he's just been spamming um, from all of his places, but he has no commanders to actually move around. Uh, he's raiding up here. This is where my um, whatchamacallums are, the Amazons. He has to come back here, so uh, 
let him come. And then I'm going to take that province back with a scout. Nondargo I took without contest. Uh, so that was here. So he didn't put a PD in there. So he's still not putting PD anywhere. He's he, I'll just take that by walking in. This, actually, I tried to take with PD, but he moved somebody in. It wasn't PD. Um, which one was that again? Uh, Nisia. So Nisia, this is the forces of Yomi. This is not PD. So he moved in this little group here. So I'll move an army uh, as well. And fingers crossed, this little group of monkeys should be able to take one priest and a bunch of militias. We'll see if that's the case or not. Uh, I'm going to challenge him here. The army I have is kind of disparate. Just whatever I've been managed to throw together. Some trolls, some barbarians, buffaloes. Um, I'm even using these guys to just add some weight behind me. Uh, all of my serpents and um, my cold units to hopefully be able to get around his uh, frozen guys without getting fatigued out. I have one standard uh, Gandhara in all, all of my other um, Guyakas here to give them a little bit of morale boost and then these guys here but I don't have a general So that so my script for our mages these are who are only my They're going to all these persons to death, so they're declaring out, especially um, a square. The loans there are six and a half. Turn ethereal, which is a big deal because my blood is magic weapons, so. It'll help. And then, uh, we for the does give uh, a detraining using lightning than um, wooden warriors. And again, this is also area effect one square, so that'll affect uh, a, a decent number of my guys. I don't think I'll get a whole lot with this, but hopefully. Any little bit helps. He's going to attack rear. Um, hopefully tie up the Dione before he dies. And then I'm just scripting body ethereal and luck. Those are also the area of effect ones that I can hit my own guys with. And then I'm going to paralyze spam. Hopefully I'll get his um, Dione with that. Communion slave two of them so that allows me to boost everyone by one and uh, yeah that's that army this army is going to have um, more Gandharas and I'm going to have uh, a guy casting light of the northern star I give him the crystal coin and then he'll do soul slay afterwards because he'll be 
well he's already level three so I'm gonna do paralyze with soul slay for the other gurus that I've got which I've actually got quite a number of gurus in this I've got three other gurus in addition to this guy I don't think I have um, enslaved mind yet no I've only got soul slay for right now but enslaved mind can be another fun thing to do especially if I can get a die on you with that but I don't think I'll get that far Thaumaturgy 6 yeah I'm still two three turns before I get um, Thaumaturgy 6 which gives me enslaved mind so no luck there um, my pretender is here as a last line of defense in case he walks onto this temple or this fort and then he's casting call of the wild here there's only one co-owning there so that should be able to take that and clear that fort for me again unless he moves back which we'll see um other than that that's pretty much it um my research is the same mercenaries is the same yeah ai is going to be taking mercenaries now so that's going to be annoying oh i am getting these guys uh victor's villains are stealthy are a uh, little gang of stealthy guys they're about as useful as monkeys but they have bows so maybe they're slightly more useful um and i'm getting them here i believe province 77 yep right there and they will continue raiding and maybe i can snipe a temple with them especially if he's cleared off all of these onis like for example here i might be able to uh <laughs> except for he has a dione there so maybe not yeah he's probably actually going to move with that guy here so right now off the top of my head dione is there 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 and there and he's probably building another one here so i really ought to just go for for yomi which i figure that out eventually but we'll get there all right uh i can't think of anything else oh i should send you i should show you the messages i've got enough gold to actually be recruiting gurus now instead of yogis which is great for me except for here i'm gonna just keep this my research battery pretty much and uh so i'll be adding to the firepower with that it's messages uh no actual messages i just send whatever fire and death gems i have to airmore maybe he'll send me nature gems back not that i really need them it's my highest income but still all right that's all for tonight have a good one see you tomorrow